on your screen right now. Mine says EA. Bro, mine's frozen because of your Wi-Fi. <laughs> what do you mean it's your Wi-Fi? <laughs> Yo, shit, frozen. Oh, shit. What's going on, FIFA fans? I'm Golden Boy. Coming hey, chat. Is it good? Sound good? From the Volta pitch here oh, at EA Play. Oh. Now, I had a blast actually hosting a FIFA I like this guy. Team Champions Cup a few weeks back, but that was FIFA 19. Castro, Today, that's what a beard looks like when it connects. FIFA 20. Now, if you caught the Stupid. brand new trailer that dropped this morning, hey, skills. That's that how you play football. football. Is a new way to play. It's freezing, bro. To the street. Hey, that's how you. That's how you juggle the football to skills. The you like that? All right. Now, for those of you who missed it, let's take a look. Give oh, me a pass. Bro, your internet is actually trash. I'm actually muting the fuck out of you. No, please. Wait. <laughs> Bro, you're fucking muted. You muted. Chat, do you see this? I need to turn the volume up. Hold on. Chat, is this better? I'm trying to make it hella loud, chat. Chat, we're good. Chat, we good. Chat, we good. Skills, you there? Bro, your, your shit won't play. You want louder. Hi, Eddie. Can you teach me how to get amazing facial hair like yours from? Yeah. Can't find a good enough wig. Grab some from your ass and put it on your face. Bro, I mean, you could, bro, did you get it? Oh wait, this is a new trailer. Oh no, same thing. I muted alerts, chat. I muted alerts. Now in a bit, I'm gonna be chatting with Sam Rivera, the lead producer at FIFA 20 about some of the new gameplay features that are gonna be coming to FIFA 20, but first, we go across the pond. Last week, singer, songwriter, and Fulham footballer Chelsea Grimes caught up. With I met her. She was on my team. Give us the details on Volta football and the culture that inspired it. She was Check on my team. Out. Yeah, she's really cool. She was on our team. Volta producer Jeff Antwi and Manchester United and England legend Rio Ferdinand Ooh. to talk about a subject close to my heart, street football. Okay, so Rio, we're here in London. Rio! Your hometown. Cage football, street football. What was your, like, memories and experiences growing up? Did you play a lot of it? Like, this was uh, where I grew up. This is exactly what I've done Cash, day in, you day at, out. In there, You're still here? Uh, play physically hey, where you at, though? Like, are you watching him talk right now? I'm in my room, yeah, real Fernandes walking. I mean, the demands. Real Fernandes walking. Yeah. So I used to play in the street with all the boys, and it was kind of the same, you know, we didn't have to bounce it off the curb. And, and They're talking about it. People's houses <laughs> as another player. What was it for you that made you want to bring it even into the game? For us, it's a return to uh, street football for the oh, FIFA franchise. And we're really excited about being able to, you know, be in places like this, you know, where it's rooted in the real people, the real places. Authenticity, creativity, culture are all things that we wanted to bring to, to Volta. Look, look at that guy's footwork. Yeah, the footwork, it's amazing. That's what you can that's do me, Volta, chat. Though, so that's me, chat. So that's part of the detail in the gameplay. So you uh, can do like all these to, mad tricks like this. Well, just being able to be really skillful with the ball at your feet, you know, whether it's a classic futsal drag, or being able to play it off the wall to yourself to beat your opponent or flick it up over your head to create space for an mm. on goal. Can you use that with the players from like the professional teams? Absolutely. So obviously with it being FIFA, we want to make sure that authenticity is at the forefront. Mm -hmm. And so you can play with or against the real players, all the licensed players that we have, all the licensed mm. clubs. You can imagine playing uh, Chelsea versus Spurs in this London cage. Man yeah, United another, versus Liverpool. Man United, Man United <laughs> versus Liverpool. Physical and technical is mud. I've played on loads of different places. Where is there to play on the game? So obviously with Volta, it's it's the world's game, and there's so many locations that you can play with, from a rooftop in Tokyo to a, a London cage like this, or even an underpass in Amsterdam. So you know we want to make sure that what we're building is you know real to the space, mm -hmm. real to the people. 
Well, where's the like, craziest place you play football? I was actually in a, in a camp in LA, and I played a Can you play with French Castro? There, which I they haven't said soccer. anything about I've it yet. I never played it there before. Um, the pitches are a lot nicer than when I grew up playing in Liverpool. <laughs> what about you, Rio? Maybe a in a, a favela in Brazil. Oh. I went to the World Cup in Brazil. And was, was she my on first your team? One. I didn't dude, she was on my team. She's I good, dude. She go She's better than really? you. Crazy man. You never see me play just, like, because you don't play in a cage. A bit like here, Dude, but you're it's just fat. different. <laughs> what type of football were you playing? We played whoever was there. So you just play with the numbers. Dude, you're got. so fat, your three, beard doesn't three, connect. Three, fine, if it was five sides, not a problem. Yeah. So, What's bro, you you're so fat, you're literally in my room right three, three, now. Three, I can see you from over there. Five v five, playing with Bro, you're so fat, yo. You can't, you can't even, you can't make it to stream on time for your part time. This or playing futsal, you know, with more authentic. Too fat to get up the stairs does a really good job of, of representing the diversity of the game, not only the people, but also in the, in the game style. Oh like, shit, who was that? Oh, uh, was that Sun? Uh, or you can be really skillful with the ball. Like, Dude, there's moonwalks. Are, are being... Did you guys see the moonwalk? Yeah, it's Sun. Volta football is such a diverse game. And for Why millions of people you for this trailer, around the world, streets is so their good. stadium. So for you guys, like, what are some of the fundamental things that you take away from the streets and what translates to the stadiums? Small sided games, three, three versus three, five sides. I grew up in this environment. And I think it enables you definitely to be able racist. to deal with What do you mean, racist? Because in a game in a stadium, in front of thousands and thousands of people, you're going to have to deal with someone 1v1 like this and with bigger spaces. So, do you get used to that in this type of environment? Is I think for a young player, on, it's, it's key. Having a personality, hey, not where, being afraid to right now, try Petra? something new here, yeah. and obviously, you know, eventually they're talking. You can go Rio, and put it onto the big stage. So I yeah. think this is like, and the chick. yeah, you go and, yeah. go and express yourself. Mm, I think definitely the the word that key word express. If you can express yourself, you see the best in everyone. I think individually as a team, you know, street football is. Dog, for a lot of Castro, look at the chat. Um, and it I am. To, Everyone's spamming you know, the, 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 the sleepy face. Volta, that's that's kind of how we built um, <laughs> the gameplay experience. And so we're really excited about <laughs> what we can. There's know, literally like one person spamming it. The, the flair and the, uh, uh, and the style uh, that you guys just talked about. I think a lot of people as well used to always associate like skills and flair without the end product. I think mm -hmm. that's what's great about this game is that end product's always king. Oh shit, here we go, boys. What I really, really, really want to know is can you create female players? Absolutely, I think that's one of the biggest innovations. You can play male or female, and they play with each other as well, and that's an important uh, part of what we're building. When you go and play in there, not everyone turns up Castro, in their shorts. Castro, what's boots. up? You can, can make a female, like, dude. Like, I know, you can make yourself. Or, or, that's you good have, for you. you know, T-shirts and shorts, so you can have jeans and long sleeves. Again, a big thing for us is you know being able to establish the culture that is street football through clothing, through how you look, your personal style. Style. You can have short hair, long hair, you can have tattoos. Can no you tattoos. play online with you people? Play with trainers. Okay. A lot of the time as well is like, it's not only... I just want to know if you can play online good. with other people. Oh, you can have tattoos, yeah. bro. In some of it's superstition. Like, it's all of that all in one. If you can get that into a game and transfer that... I want to play with my friends. ...translate that into, into the cage, yeah. you got it made. That's a big uh, part of both of football, uh, oh. just being able to represent the people um, as they are. You know, we want it to be authentic, we want it to be diverse. Um, you know, we want it to be cultural and creative, and a lot of that is, you know, how you equip yourself and how you carry yourself and how you represent yourself in the game. Oh shit, here we go, boys! Jeff, thank you so much. Here we go! It's been a pleasure. Dude, you're I'm ahead of me! Volta, so I'll see you huh? in the cage. It's because you're too slow. Oh shit. Well, there you have it. Oh Volta shit. Volta football, pretty cool stuff there. Now, I can't wait to get my hands on it later this summer, oh, but. Shit to talk to us about the exciting new gameplay updates and innovations that are going to be coming to FIFA 20. We have FIFA lead gameplay producer Sam Rivera here, go, here standing go, by. Sam, welcome. Thanks, Alex. It's great to Let's be give here. Give it up. Give it up for Sam. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Yeah. All right. All right. Pleasure to have you here, my friend. Now, here's the deal. I knew this coming into this. When they asked me to do this gig, I was like, listen. You met this guy? Gonna be I know this. I experienced this firsthand when I hosted that FUT Champions Cup. And you and I, we talked a lot about how important it's been for you to engage with the audience, with the fans, with the community on FIFA 20's development. So why don't we dive into that? Tell me about that process and how the community played a role in making this game a reality for you all. Absolutely. Community feedback is a big deal for us. 
the combination of community feedback and football itself is what inspires us every year to keep innovating the and create the most right. authentic and fun experience we can. Shit. And we know we have a big community. So this year we actually talked to over 3,000 players. From pro players to new players, casual players, hardcore players. And because we know this is a two-way conversation, we yeah. released an important Pitch Notes article at the end of May where we explain a little bit more about how we approach community feedback. So we listen to things like shooting inconsistencies or AI defending. And this feedback, together with our drive to create a more authentic football experience, led us to develop a new feature set that comes together as football intelligence. OK, mm. all right, so catchphrases are all well and good, yeah. right? But let's dive into this, right? Because sure. I, I want to be able to dive deeper into what all this means for the player. What does football intelligence mean for the folks that are oh, going to be Oh, not a new engine, bro. In a few months? Sure, football intelligence is a combination of features we that improve the three room. main components of the match, mm -hmm. on the ball, off the ball, and the ball itself. And this year, we're innovating in those three areas. On the ball, we're enhancing the one-on-one -on -one moments by giving you new attacking and defending tools. Off the ball, with a re-architected game flow, we're giving players more time and space on the ball. And for the ball itself, we have a brand new ball physics system that elevates the authenticity on every touch. OK, so you mentioned off the ball first. That's something that, you know, I'm assuming you're talking about computer control players there. And this is a big topic within the community. I know. How those players interact with you when you're playing the game. So, yeah, I mean, what, what, what is off the ball? What does that mean for, for us? Yes, yeah, so off the ball, if there's some game plays, okay. is the re-architected game flow. This new game flow was designed to give more time and space to the dribbler and create more one-on-ones. A one-on-one -on -one is one of the most interesting parts yeah. of football to watch yes. or to play if you actually yes. play the sport. Yes. And in FIFA, it's going to be the time where user skill is going to make a difference. And Ooh. while we're creating more one-on-ones, we're also encouraging more user control defending. And we are uh, reducing the amount of AI defensive support that you get from your teammates. Thank you! Okay. All right, so you, wanna, you really want to like, influence the player Thank to be you. engaged in that exactly. process. They're reducing it, bro. Uh, yeah, skill gap! Like we're kind of just like so throwing questions out here. Because you know, I, I, I'm curious. I'm really skill gap! Right? Top 100 again. When I have He's a never getting top 100. Hand, you know, what, what does this feel like? Uh, you, you know, is there, what extra space sorry, is sorry, being dude. created Skill with this, uh, more player controlled approach? Yes, first of all, the re-architected game flow allows us to encourage smart technical buildup based on skill. Yes. So when you score a goal, you feel like you really work for it. Yes. And because you mentioned space, yes, spacing is actually one of the biggest benefits of this system. You will see how your teammates spread around the pitch in a more authentic way, allowing you to read the game better and also giving you new ways for you to create your own scoring chances. Thank and you. And visually, just the game looks much more like, like real football. Yeah. So my AI teammates are going to be way more helpful for me because exactly. Lord knows I need that. All right. <laughs> Which I think, you know, a lot of us feel the struggle there. Uh, but now, what about the player, me, right? As I'm, in, as I'm playing this game, what new tools do I have that I can put out there on the pitch? Yes. So football is all about the decisive moments on the wall. And now that we're encouraging those moments, we're also giving players the tools to make sure those moments are in their control. Okay. So there's four features that I want to talk about. Composed finishing, strafe dribbling, control tackling, and the new penalty kicks and free kicks. All right, so four big topics. Yeah. Let's just dive into this. Composed finishing, what do you mean by that? Sure. We received feedback from the community regarding the difficulty to finish in front of goal. Okay. So in FIFA yes. 20, with the new composed finishing, you're going to experience more clinical and consistent shooting when you're in a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, for example. And if you try a more difficult shot, let's say a volley from outside of the box, then you're going to have more chances to, to miss. So overall, we are improving the fundamentals of shooting to provide okay. a more authentic experience. And we also listen to feedback about time finishing, and that we are very confident that the changes that I just mentioned to the fundamentals of shooting, in addition to some tweaks that we're doing to the actual time finishing mechanic, mm -hmm. are going to give you a more uh, satisfying shooting experience, okay. whether you time your shot or okay. not. We are actually just Get releasing another article about dude. this topic. Not. If you they want to know more information, you can check it online. OK, so a whole topic just on this just on alone, this. which is very dedicated there. Now, you also mentioned another uh, attacking tool, which was strafe dribbling. Yeah. So how is this now going to play a, a, a role in how I play out yeah, there? Yeah, good question. So we are reinventing the strafe dribbling mechanic. OK. Uh, this, this tool adds more dimension in attack, giving you more control, more precise and agile control of the ball when dribbling. 
And I would say this tool is great to lure your opponent in, and then when he's getting closer, use your player's agility, speed, and skill to beat that defender. So if it wasn't any indication, though, you know, I, I'm going to be on defense quite a bit. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see. because of that, as a defender now, yeah. you, you, we're continuing to just run through these tools, these new gameplay additions that are coming to it. What about on the defensive front? Yes, to counter the attacking tools, we also need to bring some innovation into defending. The new control tackling system, which uses the sophistication Son! from the active touch system from last year, is going to improve your player's tackling ability to okay. ensure you win possession back more often than ever when you tackle in the right context. Okay, and then the most intense, nerve-wracking moment oh, yeah, in any game of FIFA. Me and my boy Rob, we went... <laughs> This is an everyday thing for us. Penalty kicks. <laughs> yes. What changes are you making to penalty kicks? We have brand new penalty kicks and free kick systems. Okay. So first of all, the aiming mechanics are completely different and more accessible. But obviously, oh! we're putting some elements Wait, of why? skill in there what to make the sure fuck? there's enough depth in the mechanics for those that want to oh! be masters on those. On Yo, those that's systems. actually better. And for example, in free you kicks, think? you're going to have full I like that, control but... of the spin that you apply Yo. to the ball. And that's going to create... What about when you got button so you delay? Do, uh, side spin, <laughs> side spin, no spin, or a combination of them. And that's going to be based on how you swing your right stick. And then you will see the trajectory. So you can go around the wall. You can go over the wall. You can do a knuckle shot. Ultimately, I like the, the circle. Are, are more, uh, that way you can actually see where the fucking ball's going to go, dude. So that you feel okay. like it's more rewarding. And uh, you basically, you swing your right stick, and then you see the trajectory being created. And Penalties that's, is your that's ass, cool dude. You can actually so, you know, see so where like it's going to go uh, in the top FPS corner. So. There. Maybe that's something that, you know? that I can actually be good yeah. at. You know, yeah, like exactly hit the... with, with the right stick. That's <laughs> awesome. All right, so uh, on the ball, I like those penalties. But the ball, that is the most essential part of the beautiful game. So what's new with the ball? We have a brand new ball physics system, and the ball is at the center of every match. And the innovation that we're bringing to the ball this year just gives you a more authentic experience in general. Yeah. So we rewrote how the ball behaves on every player contact, on every bounce, on every interaction, and how spin affects the trajectory of a shot, pass, or cross. So what you will see is more realistic, realistic player deflections, uh, more realistic bounces. And if you do a shot, let's say a finesse shot, you will see maybe more curve. If you do a lace shot, uh, you will see a, like a, a dipping trajectory, a rising trajectory. There's more variety in general. I want more dip shots. So the shots. entire FIFA experience like feels that. That's I want badass. This, this yeah. new I want less AI to get that ball to Yo, everybody wants that. Ways. It's going to create some interesting exactly. moments. Exactly. We don't see like enough dip shots like Ronaldo there. in real life. Uh, you know? Now, I know that yeah. a lot of fans, I'm sure, are going to be very excited to try out these new features. And since you have the eyes and ears of a ton of FIFA fans right now, Floor is yours. Anything else you want to say to this community? Yes. So the features that I just talked about are very important, but there are many other changes that we're doing in FIFA 20, and a lot of them are based on community feedback. One of them is pace. We know that sometimes slower defenders can catch up with yes. faster dribblers. Yes. So we're tweaking pace Good. in FIFA 20. It doesn't Good. mean that the entire game is going to be based on player speed, uh, but it just means that player physical attributes are going to be slightly more important. We're doing something very similar for strength. And finally, for those players that have Astro. mastered the skill so, moves, okay. we're obviously They're tuning some the of right them. Stuff. Let's say La, La Croqueta. Yeah. Uh, we're adding new ones. Or uh, if you like to chain multiple skill moves in a row, then you will get a more realistic outcome. We're working on those. So you're telling right me now. that Tex can't like bust out like three at the same time? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but you will see new behaviors there. Tex will still find a way. <laughs> Text will still find a way. Well, thank you so much, man. That is true. I really true. appreciate it. Now, when can players get their hands on people? Bro, they're saying so all this, though. I want it to happen. Sorry. That's what September I'm saying. 27. They're saying, listen, okay. they said and a lot. There's some 19, I want it to happen. EA Access, you're subscribed to EA Access, you can get uh, hands on on September 19th. Wow. Okay. And then, of course, you know, EA Access. Coming it's to PS4. Exactly, that's good news. So PS4 fans will also be able to play FIFA September 19th. All right, look at that there. And of course, all those details can be found online, so don't forget about that. It is whew, a hot day out here. We've been talking FIFA. I've been having a blast. And Sam, thank you so oh, much, man. Guys, you. give it up for Sam Rivera once again. Thank you, thank you. Awesome stuff. Now, don't forget, if you're in LA, come down to EA Play. Try out FIFA 20 for yourself, or come watch some great street football competition at our custom vault to pitch. Keep Wait, is that it? Out because the FIFA team has a lot more to come between now oh, and FIFA September. Team. They'll be posting Wait. deep dives on the Pitch Notes platform. you get more info on gameplay, career mode, pro club, Volta, and because we all know you want to talk about it, 
FIFA Ultimate Team. So keep an eye out for those. I'm Golden Boy. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. That's it! Bro, where is crossplay? Madden! Bro, that's it! Bro, what? We didn't even get to see gameplay of, of the Volta. We didn't even get to see Volta gameplay. We didn't even get to see FIFA 20 gameplay. I thought they were going to like show a video. Dude, they literally showed a whole bunch of video footage of 